Okay, let's keep it smooth and silky, folks. As always, guy, as always. Welcome to another afternoon of The Day Show. And I've really got a treat for you today, folks. Yes, sorry. If you can't find Johnny Logan, uh, just, just go straight to Padder. But first, Padder. Yes, Padder. Our uh, chef extraordinaire. <laughs> no pun intended, get it? <laughs> Diner, diner. <laughs> yes, um... All the way from Leitrim, Mr. Padder of Fucknon. Padder, welcome to the show. Hello, Freddy. Hello, everyone. Now, I believe today you will be tempting us with your very own recipe for Irish stew. I thought he was doing a curry. So, talk us through it there, Padder. Yes, well, uh... It is Irish stew, Freddy, but uh, with a little schlint on it. Slant. That's right, with a little schlint on it, folks. So, uh, leaving out the traditional carrots and onions, uh, we add lime leaves, mm -hmm. chilli, mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit of galang ginger. So we add that into the saucepan. And uh, we'll be using coconut milk instead of stock. I must say, Potter, this, uh, this milk looks like it's seen better days. It's a bit lumpy. Is it supposed to be? Well, that's coconut milk, Freddy, which isn't squeezed from the other of a cow. I suppose it's not like milk at all, more like paint primer. Oh, so long as you're not trying to poison us all, Potter. I'm sure the folks at home would be very disappointed if we all died of milk salmonella or something. <laughs> no, Freddy. It'll be diddly -icious. Okay, folks? So, eh... Uh, eh... Uh, uh, I have substituted the lamb for chicken because it's, uh, well, it's cheaper. But uh, we'll cook it as if it was lamb. So, as you can see, it's been sliced up into small gunions. Small what, Pat? Uh, yes, right here. Yeah. An old word from down home, ladies and gentlemen, meaning uh, beets. So, uh, we throw it all into a, a saucepan mm -hmm. and let the whole lot chisel. Mm. And uh, we add some garlic mm -hmm. and a small bit of melongrass. Uh, lemongrass, no? That's right, a little bit of melongrass, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, we add that into the pan there. Take it all lovely. And we add the coconut milk. Like so, that's lovely. Put this together. Mm -hmm. There we are. Give the whole thing a stir for a litrum and let it all reduce. And that's lovely now. Ready? You going to dine out there? Do something. Should we turn up the heat there a little what bit? What the? <laughs> um, uh, now, now remember folks, uh, sizzling uh, can mean splashing, so Please remember to be extra careful at this stage of the process. Adam? <coughs> yes. Well, uh, I suppose that it's time we thought about what we're going to eat with it. Yes, uh, now what exactly are we going to eat with this, Adam? Well, traditionally, ladies and gentlemen, lovely Irish new potatoes go great with Irish stew. But as this one has a little bit of a schlint on it, mm -hmm. I was thinking uh, rice. With potatoes? No. I thought just the stew and the rice would be great. With no potatoes? No. Just rice? Yes. With some potatoes and... No. No potatoes? No. Just, just rice. Rice. Well, there you go, folks. Hey, yeah, uh, a new slant indeed. Irish stew with chicken and um, rice. Novel. But we're all up for new ideas on this part of the show, aren't we, Martha? Yes. So, uh, here's one I did a little earlier. Irish stew with a schlint on it. It's diddly-icious. Looks a little Asian to me. 
We're going to go to commercial break, folks. We'll be right back. I need a piss. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The flavour is. Uh, coriander. Oh, coriander. Mmm. Oh my god, I can feel it all the way down my throat. Like it's. Setting fire to my soul, like I'm being possessed by some kind of savoury reptile that wants to inhibit my body and enslave okay, me for. Everyone, places, please. Twenty seconds. <clears throat> it's lovely. 